Hi there, I'm David Mash, and uh, welcome to this series of in-depth looks at the ARP 2600 and some of the more advanced features of the instrument. Today I'm going to show you um, how to use the ARP 2600 as a processor for um, audio signals from the outside world. So we're going to start with my guitar, and I've got a quarter inch cable plugged into the output and from that I'm taking here into the preamp. Next I'm going to take a patch cord from the preamp into the filter and I'm going to open the filter all the way up. I'm going to open the amplifier all the way up. Filter into the amp and the amp. So now So um, th the preamp has gain and a multiplier. So right now I had it pretty much uh, very high gain. Here's just barely bringing it in. I'm going to boost it up to times 100. You can hear that I'm just slightly overloading it. I'm going to move it all the way up, pull the gain back down in. Nice uh, overloading of the circuit so I can get a nice kind of anywhere from a clean sound to a distorted sound here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the preamp into the envelope flower and that's pre-wired for me and then I'm just going to take an, the output of the envelope follower and I'm going to put that into the control input of the voltage controlled filter. I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to close the filter down. So you can hear it's opening up the filter a little bit. I'm going to put the resonance up. So it's following the envelope of the guitar. So there's a fast attack and then a long sustain, uh, uh, no sustain, but a long decay. I'm going to bring the filter cutoff frequency down. Raise the resonance a little bit more. Maybe add a little reverb. So you can play with the uh, amount that the envelope follower is uh, following the, the guitar and how much it's um, affecting the filter cutoff frequency. Maybe distort a little bit more. Probably one of the most expensive guitar processors you could buy. But as long as you have it, you might as well use it. And that doesn't preclude you from using the rest of the 2600 for other musical functions. And if you're following along in this series, you will see what I mean. Okay, that's a real simple one. And uh, you can put anything in there. You could actually put any pre-recorded audio. You could stream it in from your computer or from your MP3 player or whatever you have um, as an audio uh, source. Uh, and then use whatever parts of the 2600 you wanted to, to uh, process the sound. 
okay. Um, hope you found this interesting. If you did, please um, check out my website. Let me just get rid of the David Mash um, at machine.com. Check out machine.com. And uh, there you'll find more of these kinds of videos as well as music videos, plenty of my music. Um, I record music under the name Machine Music. And uh, you can find that on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you find your digital downloads and uh, streams. Okay, machine.com, check me out. In the meantime, have fun with your 2600 and um, take care, be safe.